being the executive director of uh, corporate business development at Hitachi Metal America. He's here today to talk about magnetic materials, solutions for fuel economy. Koshi, thank you so much for being here today. Uh, thank you, Jim, uh, for inviting me. Uh, it's a great, a great pleasure. Uh, today, uh, I like to talk about magnetic materials and also its role uh, for the solutions for fuel economy. This is the agenda I like to uh, talk about. First, driver of the fuel economy. Also, I like to talk about technologies for fuel economy solutions and magnetic materials which are the key materials for solutions. And also, I like to talk about supplier selection criteria. And lastly, I like to talk about Hitachi's value propositions. CAFE, which is corporate average fuel economy, this is a driver for fuel economy standard. This is for the US regulation. And currently, CAFE standard is set until model year 2016. And CAFE 2016 is supposed to be attaining 35.5 miles per gallon, which is about 30% more than today. Now, as you may have heard, CAFE model year 2017 through 2025 is considered and proposed and to be adopted by July 2012, next year. If the annual increase rate of 3% is applied, 47 miles per gallon by CAFE model year 2025 is supposed to be attained. And if 6% increase is decided, 62 miles per gallon has to be met until CAFE model year 2025. And in that CAFE standard regulation, uh, key players are National Highway Transportation Safety Agents uh, Administration and EPA and California Air Resource Board and of course automotive OEMs. And there are a few parties which recommend the standards. Clearly, there will be a big impact on technologies development efforts when whichever the CAFE standard is set for the year 2017 through 2025. When it comes to internal combustion engine, this is a information I pick up from the government website, which is called the, the fueleconomy.gov. Uh, in current internal combustion engine, with 100% energy input, there are many loss factors, such as engine losses, which amounts about 62%, and idling losses, about 17% and driveline losses more than 5%, and accessories such as HVAC air conditioning or telemet telemetrics. Uh, combining all those, 12% is only used for propulsion. Let me repeat. About 12% of the energy is used to move the vehicle. The rest is wasted. So current internal combustion engine is inefficient. 
In other words, there are many potential areas to improve the energy efficiency. There are technologies already developed and used and applied to meet CAFE standard in short term and mid term. There are a few things such as mass weight reduction. Uh, efforts are made uh, in the area such as advanced high tension steels or composite materials, also speed automatic transmissions, and variable valve timing, and EPS, electric power steering, and stop-start systems uh, which solve that idling. And uh, for diesel's purpose in the very fast stage, uh, turbochargers and direct injection were introduced and now used to gas fuel engine as well. Needless to say, hybrid systems and electric vehicle systems already are introduced and we see many models, a few models on the road already. Magnets play very key roles for electrification in that fuel economy solutions. And there are many parts embed magnets in, in their systems, subsystems, such as electric vehicle, hybrid electric vehicle motor generator, or electric power steering, power windows, and uh, alternator, starter, EGAR valve, to name a few. Uh, there are many things already embedded before, such as speakers or ABS or power seat, and also hybrid electric vehicle, electric vehicle motor control inverters. There are many uh, parts are used uh, for the electrification efforts. And uh, I like to talk about examples, a couple of examples, in fact, of the magnets and application for automotives uh, fuel efficiency solution. Frost and Sullivan indicated recently by 2017, more than 100 hybrid electric vehicle and electric vehicle models are to be introduced. And in there, permanent magnet motors are likely to dominate the market with hybrid electric vehicle motors at 95% and electric vehicle motors with 70%. Demands for permanent magnet motors projected to 2 million units worldwide by 2017. Permanent magnet motor offers superior starting torque and power to weight ratio, making the optimal technology for a hybrid electric vehicle. Interestingly, about 60% of automotive OEMs which are outsourcing motors at this moment from suppliers are planning to bring the intelligence in-house because they found electric motors play a key role. Uh, in the same Frost and Sullivan market report also concluded electric motor suppliers should demonstrate reliability strong R&D, and interrupted supply chain, top class manufacturing procedures facilities, tight quality control, intra-organizational support. Uh, this is a uh, second of the examples, which is electric power steering motors, 
where magnets are used. Electric power steering systems boost fuel economy by about 4% on average. And electric power steering will be standard on over half of all vehicles worldwide by 2020. Ford Motors expects 90% of its North American models carrying electric power steering by 2012, which is next year. Electric power steering is needed for electric vehicle and hybrid electric vehicles. Electric power steering motor requires low cogging torque and aristoric ring magnet is a solution offering rotational symmetry and high rotor productivity. In short, to meet fuel economy solutions, automotive OEMs and tier suppliers requiring smaller, stronger, which means high performance magnets. And they are looking for proven magnetic materials manufacturing capability, also world class R&D expertise, and strong interactive dialogue between application engineers, and also magnetic, magnet, magnetic material manufacturers' properties expertise. This is something uh, come up with. It may be a repeat, but I like to list one more time. High performance magnet supplier should offer strong R&D capabilities, an interrupted supply chain, flexible production capabilities, quick deployment, and global coverage, and financial stability. When it comes to high performance magnet, this is one of the examples. Neodymium ion boron magnets, Neomax, which Hitachi invented and introduced, have the most powerful magnet magnetic properties available today. And they are ideal for use in such high temperature situations as alternators and drive motors. Hitachi Metals, we are leading pioneer in magnetic materials technologies, holding key patents, which has been dominating the world magnet sector for years. And we are world leading magnetic material company with ongoing R&D commitment. There are a couple of examples of strong R&D efforts, which is one of which is Neomax magnets, again, the world's strongest and highest performance magnets, and FineMet, the nanocrystalline soft magnetic material, and the first of the kind, and is another example of advanced R&D results. And as automotive OEMs and tier suppliers are expanding globally, global support coverage from Hitachi goes to Japan, Asia, North America, and Europe. And we have manufacturing facilities in Japan and Asian countries and the US. In summary, New CAFE standard in the US covering model year 2017 to 2025 will be adopted next year. And midterm and technologies are already set for CAFE 2016, and adoption must accelerate. And next generation fuel economy technologies for the model year 2017 and beyond must be added very fast, very quickly. Magnets 
play a very important role and offers rich potential to contribute to fuel economy solutions. And automotive OEMs and tier suppliers can capitalize on magnetic properties expertise and accelerate their development and adoption of next generation technologies by partnering with a leading magnetic technologies company. And this concludes my presentation and I take comments and questions. Thank you. Well, uh, thank you, Jim. Uh, one of the leading electric motor manufacturers says about 70 to 120 motors are used in a luxury car. And we predict uh, more motors and micro motors will be used due to electrification trends, which I explained, on all kinds of models, not only uh, from luxury cars but also to uh, small and compact cars. All right, another attendee submitted the question, how does current Chinese export restriction on rare earth materials impact the role of magnets? Well, magnets' significant role does not change. Export restriction, especially from a dominant producing country, clearly impacts on the balance of uh, supply and demand and uh, prices of materials, in effect. Many efforts are made to prevent such a supply chain uncertainty by looking for alternative sources besides China. And accelerated R&D efforts, not only for reducing the use of rare earth, but also not being dependent on rare earth materials have been made. Preservation and recycling programs have been made as well. However, the important role of magnets remains the same or even greater. Um, as you mentioned, on December the 21st last year, 2010, we have announced that Hitachi Metals and Molly Corp have entered into an agreement regarding the planned formation of joint ventures for the production of rare earth alloys and magnets in the U.S. The ventures would be focused on manufacture of neodymium ion boron alloys and magnets that are vital to not only automotive industry, but also clean technology. Both parties have been working closely to materialize the planned ventures. Details will be disclosed once the concrete plans are forged. As the world's top manufacturer of neodymium ion boron magnet and the world leader in magnetic materials covering both permanent magnets and soft magnets, we have been listening to the market needs. The announcement on joint ventures with Molycorp for the production of rare earth alloys and magnets has been enthusiastically received by the customers in the U.S. Another sourcing will become available domestically here in the U.S. where customers with advanced technologies need to access to the most established and reliable magnet supplier. This is not only the addition in the supply chain but the game changer to the automotive 
OEMs and the tier suppliers here in U.S. As a leader of magnetic materials, we have diversified our manufacturing facilities in many areas, mainly in Asian countries. In fact, upon the Great East Japan earthquake in March this year, our timely and flexible operations based on diversified production sites prevent prevented the customer's supply chain from serious destruction. In addition, R&D function is always centralized to leverage our engineering uh, R&D resources. As magnets have a more than century-old history and made a great progress, but at the same time, to some degree, they became a commodity. From our perspective, the potential of the power of magnets is endless. Only the company with vast knowledge of the characteristics of the properties based on many proven intellectual properties can support the technology's challenges, which automotive OEM and tier suppliers face. Also, resources allocation on R&D and financial commitments on capital investment is an important key issue. In our case at Hitachi, Hitachi Metals, we spent more than 140 million of net sales on R&D. Financial stability is another factor for auto EM and tier suppliers should consider. As a technology roadmap lasts a long way, we don't want to team up with any firms who is financially unstable. Lastly, geographically locations will play an important role. As automotive OEM shift into global platforms, and this will demand, at the same time, localized modifications and local supplying ability. Well, Koichi, that's all we have time for today. Thank you so much for your informative presentation and for staying to answer some of the questions. We really enjoyed having you. Thank you, Jim. Nice being here.